Isn't that amazing? I like this blue. Yeah, wow. And that green's really nice I too. Know. We have so many to choose from. Oh, hi there. This is my friend Paris. Today, Paris is here how to teach us to make Mother's Day cards for our mums. Yep, we've got some things in this basket. First, we're going to need some paper. We're going to need some pens. We're going to need some scissors. We're going to need some glue. And we're going to need some fun decorations for everyone. Are you ready to get started, Amanda? Yeah, let's do it. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper each. Okay. And we're going to fold it in half, like this. Just like this? Absolutely. That looks really good. Thank you. We're going to put this one aside. We're going to make something really fun to put on the front of our cards. Okay. So I'm going to take the colour blue because it's my mum's favourite colour. Okay. What's your mum's favourite? I think my mum likes the colour red. So we're going to fold it in half like we did with the cards we made before. And we're going to make a fun heart to put on the front. Wow. We're going to take one of these markers. Thank Here you. Here you go. And along the folded edge that we've made before, we're going to take the marker and we're going to draw half a heart. Like that. Have I done it right? Absolutely, you did. Great. So we're going to be very careful and we're going to use these scissors and we're going to cut out the heart that we just made. If you're finding this one a little bit hard to do, don't be afraid to ask your favourite adult for some help. Great. Now what do we do with this heart? We're going to take the glue that we have and the cards that we made just before and we're going to put some glue on the edge of the heart. And we'll stick that one right on the front. And there we go. We've made a card with a lovely heart to give to our mums. Just like this? That's just like that. That's really good, Amanda. Great. I love this. This is really cool, Paris. I also have a friend who likes to make special and unique things. Maybe while we finish off our cards, we can watch a video of her. That sounds like a great idea, Amanda. OK, we'll see you guys after we finish our cards. Hello, my name is Alana. I'm a professional stilt walker and I run my own entertainment company in Australia. I started off stilt walking for free actually at events, just volunteering because I enjoyed it so much. And then I figured I may as well run my own business rather than trying to find work through other people. My goals would be to run Stunning Stilters internationally. I would love to personally have a home base in, probably in Indonesia because I love Indonesia. A few over the world and I can run them from my home base and make costumes in my workshop and send them off and, and have a, a long list of performers that perform for me. That would be amazing. I have a big social media account, be known. I don't want to be famous but I want to be the best stilt walker that there is now. I would have to say that going down the path less travelled and really investing yourself into something that's unique to you is going to be the way to really step forward into opportunities in the future. And the only way that you can really stand out is to be unique and have something about you that no one else can have. I made my own costumes with my own hands. No one else could have made them how I made them. They came from my own imagination. So. I think that would be the best part. When I see my performers at an event, when I see pictures, I go, that's me in a picture, <laughs> even if I'm not in the picture. Hi, welcome back everyone. We were just sitting out here enjoying the sunshine and, oh yeah, our cards. Paris, have you seen the Mother's Day cards we made? I thought I put them on this bench. Oh, maybe we lost them. Never fear. The mail carrier is here. Eliza. Eliza! Hey guys, I saw you left these behind and thought you might need them. Thank you so much. Also, you've got mail. Really? Yeah. Oh, Eliza, you're a true hero. Oh, thanks guys. Now, this mail isn't going to deliver itself, so I better go. You have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow, look at these cards. Your card is so cool, Amanda. This is the one I made. I wrote mum in the middle and I also used these stickers. They have little roses and they have glitter on them. Wow, that's so cool. What have you done with your card? 
I put this, a sticker that says love in the middle of my heart because I love my mum. Oh, that's so sweet. And I used the coloured pens that we had to draw some flowers and draw a butterfly. Wow. We also have some cards that people brought in. Here, have a look. <gasps> wow. Look at this one. They've, mum really must love puppies because there's puppies all over it. This one even says woof. Oh, that's so cute. And I love how they used the how they use the orange. It makes it really colourful. Absolutely. And this one's really colourful because they used a blue piece of card wow, to, to so make their nice. card as well. And they used the heart and they made it into a butterfly. How smart is that? That is so creative. And look at all the kittens all over it. This I, mum must love cats. Absolutely. <laughs> oh no, look, the sun's already starting to set. Oh, I better get home before it gets dark. Yeah, me too. Well, thank you so much for today, Paris. Bye, Amanda. Bye. Now it's time for our bedroom routine. Today, just like the day before, we had some fun with friends and more. But now it's time to say goodnight and hope the bedbugs do not bite. Good night, dear sun. We'll see you soon. Hello, bright stars and pretty moon. It's time for bed, wherever you sleep under the stars and dream of sheep. If you have a teddy, cuddle it close, drift asleep and kiss its nose. Tomorrow will be better still, the sun is waiting beyond the hill. Good night everyone.